Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Random 5. So we're still in the uh, Barren Honeycomb, right? It's actually called that. I, I don't know. At some point I had started doubting whether it was actually called Honeycomb or referred to that, uh, referred to uh, by that term, but uh, yes, apparently. Once again, not actually as crazy. I'm not actually as crazy as I sometimes think I am. Um, right, so we have... Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, I've been officially tasked with dealing with the shade. And, you know, honestly, I, I was going to leave them alone at first. But, on, uh, you know, obviously, first of all, we now have a reason to not do that. But I've also been thinking about it. And really, even if these shades, I mean, there's only one here, but we know that there are more in the nearby old city. These are basically just dead people, right? just spirits that haven't moved on they're they might want to remember their their caves as you know the way they are and they might not want anyone to invade them and desecrate them but really they're not living they they have no reason to persist to you know remain in this world and honestly just removing them from here if necessary by force so that actual living people can use these caves and, you know, actually benefit from them is better. Is for the better. So that's that's how I can justify that for myself. Um, anyway, not that I need to, but I do, anyway. Right. So, uh, Excessus Mana is not full, but we'll see if it's going to be enough for this encounter that's coming up. Let's see how that is going to play out in the first place. Um, okay, we'll save and actually, I guess I'll ex I expect uh, that shade to start summoning some undead. Actually, this is a, looks like a pretty neat uh, setup, unless it also turns hostile. So I don't know. Obviously there are all these, uh, these uh, piles of bones around. Or are they just piles of bones? Yeah, no, they are piles of bones. Um, I guess there are three, four. Four of them? Five? Wait, yes. At least five. Oops, I somehow pressed the wrong button there. That's fine. Yeah, okay, it looks like about five maybe of those of those hills. Plus this one. Um, and I don't know if undead are going to spawn there and come running this way or... Well, we'll see how this plays out. I have, I have no idea. Oh. The shade is still hovering here silently. Kill it or wait. Uh, well, I guess in that case we just kill it. Yeah. Uh, you draw your blade. This it understands. Uh, this it understands. It stretches out its hands and floats down toward you. Uh, yeah, no, no need to float toward us. We are already here. Okay. Fading shade. That thing does not have any hit points, which of course means that something, something uh, tricky is going to be going on here. Okay. Well, I guess we're done. GG. Ah, you hear an unsettling chattering noise coming from the shadows all around you. You have angered the spirits that inhabit this place. They are prepared to act. The hunt begins. Hmm. Well, I hope that um, the hunters are going to find us pretty soon, so all of these buffs don't run out before they do. Maybe I shouldn't have applied all the buffs right away. You know, why don't we... Aha, there we go. Okay, Waste Revenant. Definitely a tougher version than the ones we've seen before. Well, you should be able to, say, shoot this guy. We weaken his armor. There we go. Mm. Let's try the effectiveness of fire. Works pretty well. We are also buffed, so that helps for sure. Repel Spirit, 87, not bad. If it's only one of these revenants per hill, and they all have to make their way here first, this should not be that bad, but we'll see. I should not celebrate too soon. Um, yeah, you can just... All right. Um, also, I actually put the... Um, as per a tip I got via comment, uh, I put the short blade on uh, quick slot and now I can actually quickly 
switch between my weapons that way. I just... It didn't occur to me that that would work, but... Yeah. Um, or that that could work, but it does. And it's uh, definitely convenient. Not that I've had a reason to switch away from my Fiery Blade for now. I mean, it seems to be doing uh, pretty okay. I mean, I guess... So long as... So long as anything is not... Oh, any enemy is not resistant to fire, specifically, it's... The, the Fire Blade might actually outperform the physical one. Just because um, most enemies are going to be, you know, more protected against physical attacks than, uh, than elemental attacks in general, right? Unless they're specifically resistant to one element. So, in that regard... Um, it might just be better... Oh, by default. Hi there. <laughs> I uh, didn't expect you there. Didn't expect or really look. Yeah. Thought you were probably not going to be uh, in my field of view at this point. That's fine, though. Thankfully, Rasluka was not... Okay. Okay, okay. So they are coming. I should have trusted. Yeah, anyway, but uh, we can switch quickly now if we encounter something resistant to fire. And that's all I wanted to say. And just shoot normally. Oh, actually... Well, yeah, we know that the next one is coming, so just... Do shoot normally. Okay. Oh, please. Heal her for safety and finish off this one. Um, you can actually break its armor for a change. And you can do a mighty shot. Not too bad. Oh, right. You can shoot twice. Oh. Calls forth the dead. That is unfortunate. And unexpected. So they can just summon more of their own kind. Huh. Okay, buffs are still active. Hmm. I wonder who this one's gonna want to attack. For now. I guess we'll just try to deal with this one. Finish off this one as quickly as possible. Ah, I really should conserve his mana a bit more. I mean, Repel Spirit is fine. It's not that expensive. Okay, good. I wonder if uh, summoned ones... They do seem to be the, the exact same kind of creature. Um, if they can also keep summoning more, that uh, that could get out of hand quickly. But of course, we've only seen one of them summon once so far. Shit. They can hit pretty hard. That sucks. And we, of course, don't have access to our resurrection yet. Do I try to continue like this? I mean, I guess? Oh, right. Not really sure how successful this can be at this point. Oh, wait, oh, you can still attack twice. Okay. This is one of those extremely rare situations where having more than 10 action points actually did something for us. I wasn't even considering that. Okay, come on. A good hit. Not good enough. Holy crap. The damage. Yeah, he's dead now. Wow. Okay. I mean, I guess not everyone had their armor increased. I mean, obviously at this point I have to, re have to restart. There's no way we can do this. Hmm. Should I? I mean... Ideally, no one is gonna, no one's going to need to, to survive those hits. But of course, I can't really ensure that they are only gonna attack Rasluka, as we saw. Hmm. I don't know. Kill it. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so far, so easy. I guess we will start with this one because obviously we want to be as far away from the majority of them, as we can be. Hmm. 
I guess we can still stop prepare by preparing like this. Okay, we see the first one. There we go. Armor reduced. You guys are hasted. War blessing. Armor has been reduced, so we go with a pretty decent um, mighty blow there. Parries are not good. We need to kill them quickly. Okay. Based on you. Hmm. Maybe I should have... Uh, oh, it's fine. Rather, it's too late now, so... Okay, and we definitely benefited from more action points there again. Okay, good. First one is down, just in time for the second one to arrive. I don't see another one coming from there now, so that's good. Unfortunately, we'll have to reposition ourselves here. And honestly, that's probably for the better anyway. Okay, that worked out. More by chance than anything else. Kind of took a risk by just having him run ahead potentially too far. That's all good. 23 damage. Okay, you can intercept it. Still not seeing another one. Okay. Okay. Wait, why didn't you get to shoot a second time? Did I move him? Okay, I, I probably did. No, lightning is going to be more damage, right? Uh, actually, not that much more. If at all. XC4. Okay, now... Where's the next one kind of going to come from? Hmm. Well, it's going to come from somewhere. Or is it? Are we actually too far away? Huh. No, no, okay, they're definitely coming. Just, just wait here then. I mean, you can shoot if you can. Shoot it if you can. Okay, there are two of them now. That being said, let's see. Slow that one. You can probably see this one. Yes, you also have access to this again. Okay, good damage. Very nice. If we can prevent one of them... Okay, unfortunately this time we only had 10 action points, so no double hit here. Uh, this one does not have its armor reduced, does it? But I guess it's also mostly dead at this point, so... I'll just go with the damage right away. Hmm, 92. It's not gonna die. Nope. Especially not if it parries. Okay, good. But, I mean, this works better. Even if they're gonna try to make their way to the party members in the back, there's a good chance I won't reach them before we can snipe them. Um, yeah. Just attack. Okay, getting uh, a good number of double attacks in here. Okay, there's the next one. If it's really only one per hill, though, that might be the last one. I, honestly, I kind of lost count. Well, you're already slowed. I think we're just gonna go ahead and deal the most damage we can. I don't know, this, is it just me or does fire actually deal more damage? I don't know. I guess it's just just the randomness making it appear that way. Oh, come on. Not gonna be enough. It's gonna attack someone. Or not? Oh, I guess it uh, got slowed. Okay, well. That's the wrong button. 
In that case, uh, we slow you as well. Okay, good. And actually finish both of you off. All in one go. And you can do this again. You know, these guys really are nasty enough. All things considered, with their extreme damage that they can deal and the uh, the ability to summon more. Of course, now I might have jinxed myself. Please don't summon more. If you get a chance to. Um, okay, well, I had to say something, but that's okay. I'm just gonna slow you as well, because that does seem to work pretty well. Now that there's, as soon as there is more than one of them, obviously, Lightning Spray is going to be worth it. Uh, anyway, uh, what, what, what was I going to say? I don't know. Oh yeah, they are actually bad enough that this might really be it. I was thinking that... Ah, okay, and actually just killing the original one was enough for, uh, you know, to trigger the event. Okay, well, that answers that question or confirms what I was about to say anyway. That it really was just a matter of killing uh, one Revenant per hill. And that this wasn't just the first wave or something. Uh, the tunnels are quiet again. Once again, the living show their clear and unquestionable superiority over the dead. I mean, yeah, well, I guess. Also, you know, as I said, as I argued earlier, it's just... Respect for the dead and all that, it's, it's fine. But, you know, letting them actually live and occupy land that could otherwise be used for the actual living to live there um, seems a little bit too much, right? Because obviously the undead don't really have a a reason to uh, to stick around anymore. Uh, this is a weapon. You don't say. Two de defense, hostile effect resistance. Uh, Damage-wise, though, 7 to 14. Yeah, okay, so it's just like this one. Uh, this one gives you melee weapons, pull weapons, right, and the uh, extreme fatigue removal. That being said, this does give defense and resistance, which is nice. It's definitely better than this one. It's also not as heavy. I would really love to give you this weapon, you know, some kind of weapon. But the thing is, I can't. So for now, I'm going to give this to her. Sell this blade. Um... I mean, I guess she, she didn't have a, a stat stick in her hand. Now she does. Um, and I guess she doesn't have a bow, whereas he does. And he's missing the melee weapon. Um, of course, ultimately, I would love for everyone to have something useful in each slot. But, uh, well, we have to come across some weapon that actually gives stats that are beneficial to him. Or to either him or her. In the first place and maybe by then i'll actually have replaced one of these heavier armor pieces with something more lightweight so he he's not um uh, you know on the verge of being over encumbered or maybe i'll eventually put another point into strength after all even though i really don't want to but we'll see for now it's fine i guess it's fine yeah okay uh so that was not too bad all things considered the first attempt obviously didn't go so well but um, second one, much, much better. Okay, with that, we will return, and... I mean, there is still the issue of some kind of evil lurking directly underneath their feet, which you'd think that they uh, would be concerned about that. We'll see, though. Uh, I get rid of the Shade and its servants. Yes. I am pleased. Koromor chose well. I will not discipline him for sending the Empire here. Uh, he removes a ring from his finger and hands it to you. This is a favor of our people. It shows you that we are honorable and keep our word to those who treat us fairly. Remember that when you report to your people. Okay. Oh, by the way, that's true. Okay, that's another thing that I did notice when I was re-watching my previous video. Um, that one... That one secret um, room that we opened up on, in the uh, subterranean area uh, east of here actually gave us a, a line about, you know, it being a natural spring, a small natural spring, when we entered. I just missed that while I was playing, but I did see that later, and I thought, huh, it's weird that we cannot actually mention this to these people who are, you know, obviously desperate for water, and who are who have to bring water uh, by the bucket from the faraway river through very hostile terrain, as we've learned. And, you know, it seemed, seemed odd that we wouldn't 
be able to uh, to mention that specifically, but I guess now we can. Uh, yeah, by the way, I found a natural spring to the east. Didn't really na need to wait until now to, to tell them that, but well, I guess maybe I wanted to wait uh, if they would actually be true to their word and reward us <laughs> before we, um, you know, did them that favor. You tell the elder about the spring you found hidden in the lower tunnels. For a moment, uh, his stern exterior fades. He's thrilled. Then we... we... we can't survive here. These will be Fang Clan lands. Well, it's only a small spring, so you probably still can't support a large population, but, you know, it's, it should be a lot better than what's... how things currently are. There will be new generations of Proud Neffel here, and it is owed to you. Proud Neffel Lim here. And it is owed to you. Let me give another word as a sign to our, uh, as a sign of our fair dealing. He removes a long leather belt from around his waist and hands it to you. Thank you. Okay, Farsight Band and Girdle of Life. Farsight Band. Three to Sharpshooter. Hello there. Oh, okay, just, you know, casually triple the effect of our current archer ring. Not bad. Obviously we don't really have anyone who wants that. For their main ring, he still has mind effect resistance, that's right, magical efficiency, and, well, protection in general, I guess. And the Girl of Life, plus two to endurance. Uh, you have exactly that. You have intelligence, you have two intelligence, actually. One strength, uh, which we do currently need. Yeah, in, in fact, I wanted to give this Girl of Life to her originally, but I couldn't, because not only... Does she lose the point of strength? But also, this thing is twice as heavy. Yeah, It's unfortunate. It is unfortunate. Of course, if I would give her one extra point of strength at this point, she would have enough. Wait, is that right? Yes. Yes, of course it is. And still have a lot of extra health. Yeah, wow, that's, an, that's a really nice boost. I like that. I mean, that's only with... The uh, temporary buff, but still, over 200 health looks nice. It's a nice number. Seven points. I mean, strength is only nine for her? You know what? I, I'll actually do it. I will actually do it. I'll give you this. I said I'll give you this. Thank you. And improve strength to ten. And it's also a much nicer number. There. And of course... A, well, I mean, I guess in the end, you know, she only has, uh, she actually has the exact same amount of strength as before, but yeah. Yeah, I like that. I mean, she's also, you know, just on the verge of being encumbered now, but I guess she's unlikely to replace anything she's wearing with something a lot heavier. Right? Well, who knows? We'll see, I guess. We will see. But yeah, I do like that. Uh, now the Girdle of Strength. <laughs> of course, I could give that to him, but then he would be losing out on all that nice experience, uh, experience and uh, the nice intelligence, of course. And that would, wouldn't really make sense. Not, you know, not for this slot. If, if I had something else that gave him one point of strength, that would be ideal, of course, but no such luck. Also, right now, it would only mean that he can, that he could re-equip the Composite Longbow. It really wouldn't, what would make sense would be to buy that uh, Acid Bow for him. Because that actually adds some utility. Just casually being able to apply an extra debuff. And I, I do find him with, you know, a, an action to spare relatively quickly, uh, relatively often, I should say. So, yeah, I mean, it's 1700, right? I think so. Uh, Bow of Decay. You know, I'm I'm just gonna do it. Whatever. There. It is the same weight. And I guess with that, I mean, he's never gonna deal a lot of damage with his bow, so I can just go ahead and sell both of those actually. And this is always gonna be somewhat useful. Actually, I mean, I guess it depends on how strong that asset debuff is. If it really does leave a debuff, but I'm pretty sure it will. And I seem to vaguely remember similar items from past games. And I'm just going to assume that they work similarly. Anyway. Um, right. Yeah, so we don't really have a need for this girdle of strength, I think. I could hold on to it. Maybe I will maybe I will hold on to it just in case. 
someone needs a temporary boost of one point of strength very desperately. But I think in the long term I'm happy with uh, where things are right now. I mean, of course, I would like for her to have a um, one of these girdles here, girdle of genius. If I can find another one. Of course, then she's actually going to be encumbered again. And oh, <laughs> please just just stop. Just make me never have to worry about encumbrance again. In the, well, I guess in Avernum Six, we'll see how they handle that. I'm uh, definitely interested to see how different that engine is going to be and um, how things are going to be handled differently. But well, for now, for the rest of this game, we will have to still deal with it one way or the other. It's fine. Now, okay, we help them with that, um, and of course we have plenty of time. But uh, we're going to have to go ahead and heal. Actually. Save first, and uh, oh, we never checked out this second entrance. There are two, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Good. Was well, I actually thought about uh, the rest of this map here that we did not actually fully explore? In fact, I believe this underground section here seemed to connect to something else um, that wasn't quite reachable. So there might be another entrance to the underground right there. Okay. That's what I thought. Hello, soldiers. And another another one of those outposts that we're supposed to check. We'll see, maybe. Not maybe. We'll definitely see soon. Oh, hold on. More crystals. Crystals. Come on. Captain Jarvis. Uh, several overnight soldiers are standing guard on this bit of high ground watching the south for intruders. They are dirty and tired. While their equipment was doubtless new when they came uh, when they came out here, it's seen, it's seen a lot of use since then. When they see the insignia on your chest, they don't worry about you. They don't like your kind, but you aren't what they're hunting. One of them says, Hail to you, I'm Captain Jarvis. When you head south, watch out for the giants, and you will be heading south. Uh, how do you know? I guess there's not really anywhere to go from here but south. Southwest. Um, I have to go south? Yeah, it's, it's kind of an odd thing to say, huh? I guess it's his way to, of saying to, telling us to move on. To, to not linger. Anyway, tell me about the giants first. We have an agreement with them. They leave us be, we leave them be. We leave them be. Their chief is smart enough to understand it. Then why are you on guard? Giants aren't smart. They forget things. Sometimes they lose control or get greedy or decide to wander our lands. Then we need to turn them back. Okay, uh, so I have to go south? You can't settle here. Yes, I know. I mean, just, come on, man. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like? Do we look like we're about to start building a <laughs> building a house here? Whatever. Um, you can't settle here. That's one of the reasons we're here to keep settlers moving on and push back those who try to slip in. Push back. We give beatings. If it's necessary, we do worse. It hasn't been yet. Uh, okay. Who do you have to keep out? The people from Muck keep trying to slip in, begging for help or supplies, trying to steal our claims, no doubt. What do you do to them? We give them a beating and send them home. We haven't killed any of them. Not yet. We hope they don't make it necessary. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of an, an unpleasant situation, isn't it? Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm just here checking the outpost for high ground. Uh, what's your status? They're letting an Empire soldier do that? Well, if you're a spy, you've seen all you need to already. We're all right for now. We need to be relieved soon. Okay, fair enough. Don't mind me. Snooping around, just what I do. Oh, hello. Um, settlers, huh? There are several settlers uh, sitting around this fire. They don't look like warriors or miners, just farmers who made the brave, perhaps foolhardy decision to come and settle this new land. Only one of them is still entirely conscious. She sits by the fire, boiling up a thin soup of mushrooms. When you approach, she is terrified until she sees that you're from the Empire. An unusual reaction. Oh my, you scared us. We thought you might be our fellow Evernites. We're moving on as fast as we can. Okay, so are you people who they, those soldiers up there recently gave a beating? Hmm. I'm Ardun. You seem exhausted. Of course we are. And low on food. We barely survived the journey to the Azure Gallery. When we got here, instead of letting us rest, our fellow Evernites told us we had to leave. We are trying to get away, but there are giants ahead. Y uh, who wouldn't let you rest? 
heartless people of high ground, the ones who claim every scrap of land here for themselves. We had thought that all Evernights were brothers and sisters. We will not make so foolish a mistake again. One way or the other, I guess, yeah. Didn't high ground threaten you? Of course. Not obviously. No shouting or drawn weapons. But they made it clear that strangers were not welcome, and that we could not sleep where we would be protected. Hmm. Tell me about the giants. They are west of here, on the only safe path between here and Muck. They demand money for safe passage. We have no more money. We had to spend all of it on food and high ground. We are waiting here, hoping that we can slip past the giants before high ground comes after us. It's our best hope, and it isn't a good one. Well, maybe I can help you with that, at least. Not sure how much help it's going to be in the long run, because I don't know that Muck is going to be treating you much better, but I guess it couldn't treat you much worse, so there's that. Uh, where are you from? We started our journey in Formello, a beautiful city, but overcrowded now. All of the land is claimed, and they're, ex they're extracting every mushroom from it that they can. Not a place to start a family, so we headed out here. The northern frontier is not as friendly as the stories claimed. Hmm, I didn't hear many stories claiming it was friendly at all, but okay. Yeah. Uh, where are you headed? Right now we are trying to reach Muck. That is, I suppose, the place where the rejects of high ground are forced to go. Where is Muck? I mean... Yeah, well, we know already, but whatever. At the far west end of the edge gallery, or so we are told. What do you hope to find there? The people of High Ground made it sound like a miserable, squalid, dirty place full of murderers and rogues. After seeing the drake pillars, we believe them, and yet we must go there and try to defend ourselves. You know what? The more I encounter people of High Ground, the more I think that maybe the people of Muck are going to be the more pleasant sort to be around. So, uh, honestly, if you can make it safely there, it's probably for the better. Uh, where will you go when you leave Muck? If you leave Muck. Farther into the farther into the frontier, she shakes her head. If there is farther in. Oh, I'm sure there is. Our greatest fear is that Muck is the end and we will be trapped. Well. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, okay, that's that is the question I asked. Okay. Yeah, well, we will deal with, the, with any giants in the way, any hostile giants. Not right now, of course. I'm not getting that sidetracked. Not right now, anyway. You know what? I randomly just remembered that there was a digging spot north of where we defeated that shade. I saw that at some point, and then, then I never actually uh, clicked on it after we were de done dealing with it. I don't know why I remembered that. I guess because I saw this and, and thought, huh, maybe, uh, you know, I was just scanning for digging spots, and then I thought, huh, wait, digging spot, there was something. A mental note I took earlier. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, but this is the wall where... The map indicates that there is something behind it. There was no way to open it or access it from the other side. Uh, the passages in this mine are uh, festooned with webs, and the mold and lichen growing on the floor look undisturbed. Hmm. The owners of this claim have been absent for at least a few weeks. Webs, though. Okay, we've got a corridor blocked by rubble. Excuse me. The game knows more than I do. <laughs> Apparently there is a connection. Which is good to know, but... I wasn't quite ready to just... Start running off into the unknown here. Okay, nothing here. There are webs. Definitely gonna run into some spiders here. Yep, sure enough. A cave widow. Nothing we haven't seen before. Actually, not in a while though. Uh, let's start with this one, I guess. Nice. Okay. Only hit twice out of six attacks there. Not bad. What did you do? Huh? What? Did... I was trying to shoot. I activated the battle discipline and clicked on the spider, right? But... Why didn't he... Why... What? Did, did I accidentally click on Rasluka's tile? I guess I must have. That's, that is bizarre. Also, he can still move, so... <laughs> I guess do a point-blank shot there. That was odd. I was just clicking, you know, impatient for the uh, the animation to finish. That's unfortunately a thing. Huh. Oh, very strange. Okay. And sure, finish off that spider. Come on. Please. You know, 
shoot. Um, little damage. Wait, did I? Hmm. Okay. Did I? I did damage to it, didn't I? Am I crazy? Didn't I deal seven damage to it? Oh. Okay. That was physical damage, though. Not acid damage. Hmm. Okay. And of course, we didn't give it a chance to actually take acid damage if it, if it would have. Huh. Maybe the acid bow's not. Or the bow of decay, I guess. Doesn't work the way I thought it did. Hmm. Well, we'll get plenty more chances to uh, to try that out. If I wasted 1700 more gold, you know. Whatever. I saw one of those. Let's see. Yeah, that's just blocked off. More spiders, though? Ominous. Oh, what? Janelle. Who, who are you? Lovely pitapalms. What? Even the pit around you... What? No, from the pit around you, you can hear the hissing and clicking of horrible monsters. You're concerned. This person isn't. She peers out at you from inside her cowl. She takes a handful of red glistening meat. Oh, so she's one of those cultists that we were told about, right? Who are worshipping, or who are, you know, I don't know, worshipping, that's the right word, uh, monsters. Um, yeah, obviously. I was kind of expecting them, there to be some, some sort of actual settlement or temple filled with multiple of them, and not just to find a single person or maybe several individuals. Um, but okay, clearly this must be one of them. Uh, she takes a handful of red glistening meat out of a jar at, at her feet and flings it into the pit. Then she stares at you defiantly. I'm Janelle, of the Circle of Life. I have claimed this cavern for a new life. You must go. What is the Circle of Life? We are those who are determined to preserve in this world the forms of life that are lost or are being hunted to nothingness. Like monsters, I guess. Every creature that is lost forever, even those that we don't like, costs the world. We will prevent this. Some call us crazy. Some call us a cult. This does not matter to us. We hear the call of the circle. Okay. What is in the pit? Do I really need to ask? Spiders. Many of them. Spiders are a beneficial creature. They eat pests and the bugs. Uh, the bugs that would destroy our crops. Yeah, normal-sized spiders do that. I don't know about these ones. They seem to be interested in eating people. Of course, some spiders are larger and more intelligent than others. That is no reason to destroy them completely. We just need to give a respectful distance to them. Hmm. Which is easier said than done sometimes. Uh, you know, I will leave for now. <clears throat> Thank you for leaving us alone. Uh, yeah, don't... Um, I don't know. Don't get too comfortable. I'll be back as soon as we uh, have recovered. <clears throat> I hope that one day all of us learn to appreciate the beauty and wonder of these marvelous creatures. She shows more meat, throws more meat into the pit. Uh, you hear lots of clicking and hissing. Right. Yep, there sure is meat there. Huh, there's a gong here. The hammer hangs from it. Mm, I'm sure she's going to do that for us. Ring that gong, of course. After we uh, challenge her. Although I wonder what she, how she would react if we just rang the gong ourselves. Anyway, that's, um, yeah. Interesting. Oh, hello there. I didn't even mean to click on that. Ah, you start to dig around in this rubble looking for treasure. You find that the scree doesn't go very deep. There is nothing here. Then you hear a familiar scratching sound coming from the rubble all around you. This wasn't a cache. This was the beginning of a kite rack hole. Ah, and here I thought, here I was thinking that we were done with those things. Of course, no such luck. Uh, the sounds you make, you made, you make? The sounds you make attract the bugs that made it. These kite racks must have just arrived from the Anomalands. Perhaps they snuck a larva into a cargo barge. It is lucky for the people here. Uh, it is lucky for the people here. You can kill the bugs before they spread. Not so lucky for you, though. Also, these are new. Null bugs. Wonderful. Plated kite racks. Okay, it's just... Nope. Five of them, huh? Five of them? Six of them, actually. Yes, yes, okay. I can count, I swear. I can also just look at the map, which makes it much easier to see what's going on. Uh, of course, we have kind of run out of buffs at this point, and he's completely out of mana. You know, as much as I would normally just like to deal with this 
as it is. It's just unreasonable. I'm gonna go back and deal with this. Where even is the digging spot? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Let's just ignore that for now. I guess there are some signs here, huh? Namely, one broken bit of husk. Pretty subtle, though. I guess the biggest uh, giveaway is that the uh, the digging spot is so obviously out in the open, which is kind of unusual, although not completely unheard of. Aha, there we go. Mine crystal. <laughs> Worth it, I guess. Okay, 40 minutes. You know, honestly, it's a bit of a shorter episode, but I was, I was going to, I was planning to make it a little bit longer. But I was gonna go with a with slightly shorter episodes, um, anyway. So I guess this is a as good a spot as any to make a cut. I'm gonna go ahead and heal and you know do any other necessary maintenance, um, and then we're gonna be back here, I suppose, to deal with this Kytrek attack. Then probably just uh, deal with the spider lady while we are in this area, and then we're gonna head back into the f uh, into the Fanclan lands and deal with whatever is lurking underneath their settlement. But I'm gonna. I mean, it's, it's good that I typically make a, a list of things to do at, at the end of each video because there are lots of things to to try and keep track of. Because I also want to go back to the portal fortress and uh, talk to the portal master about shade infestations, which I had completely forgotten about was a thing. But he definitely did ask us to check back occasionally, and we have never done that since the very beginning of the game. So there should be at least one more, possibly several more shades to deal with there. And then I also want to uh, want to take another look at that Slith Temple, right? Of course, if we aren't actually strong enough to deal with them yet, um, I'll make that trip in vain, and we do have to go through that underground area again with the, uh, you know, waterway shenanigans, but, you know, it's uh, honestly not that bad. But also, we're obviously obviously strong enough now no way we're no way we can't deal with those things so yeah maybe that's gonna be next episode we'll see actually that's a lot of things um we'll see how long all of that takes but as i said i'm gonna take a break at this point um next time some or all of those things i just mentioned uh, for the time being i thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and i shall see you real soon Bye bye